Hey guys, it's Susie Lolly back with another video, and this is video number six in the Canvas for Little series. If you're like Susie, I've only seen one video, like 10 seconds of it so far, then you're missing out. So you probably need to pause this one, or if you're too excited, watch this one, and then go grab the whole playlist. I've got two more videos for sure coming out in the series, and then who knows what else is up my sleeve. But anyway, in tonight's topic, we're going to talk about Seesaw Plus Canvas. Why in the world, if you have Seesaw and love it, would you want to switch to Canvas? And vice versa, why in the world, if you have Canvas, would you need Seesaw? Well, I don't think anybody who's ever used Seesaw can find a better place for the creative tools than in Seesaw. I mean, kids can draw, they can record, they can manipulate. I mean, it just does so many creative things that you really can't find easily in another tool. You can kind of, you know, tweak and make your own maybe in slides or PowerPoint. But if you want the real nitty gritty, Seesaw has the best creative tools, but maybe your district has adopted Canvas and you're like, my kids were using Seesaw, now they have to use Canvas. Well, they do maybe for some things, but I'm going to show you a hack where kids can still work in Seesaw, but you and your parents only have to look at notifications in one place. So does that sound exciting? Stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you there's some setup involved the first time you do well every time you do this but it really does not take that long for you or the students to submit the longest part of the activity is them actually creating what they're going to create in seesaw you know recording re-recording laughing <laughs> you know snorting or doing whatever else they do in the middle of it so just watch me you can replay the video you won't get lost you can do this as many times as you want and then it gets to be just a natural rhythm so the first step, if you want to receive notifications and get all their work just in Canvas, but still let them use the, the creative Seesaw tools, is if you saw my previous video on modules, if you didn't go back and watch it, I'm going to start at modules, and I'm not adding a new module, but I'm going to pretend this is a Seesaw activity we're doing for the week of August 17th. I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to add a new assignment because I want to put the grade right here in Canvas, and I'm going to call this Seesaw Activity. You would have more details. Of course you would. <laughs> And then I'm going to click add item right now. All I've done is put the title in. So I need to click that and then make any changes I need to make. Like, you know, how many points is it worth? When's it due? What are the directions? Complete. Did you hear me type? Complete the activity in Seesaw called whatever and turn it in here. Okay. And you would make that all cute and whatever. And this is worth hundred points. Of course it is. Whatever you want to do. Here's the important part. <clears throat> For submission type, change it to online and change it to URL. That's the only one you need to check there. I'd go down and put a due date. Let's go ahead and make it due today because we're mean. I'm just kidding. And then save and publish. Now that is ready to receive what your kids do in Seesaw. So in the next little snippet, I'm going to show you how to assign it to them and how they get the URL and turn it into you here. Now you just give the kids what you would usually give them in Seesaw. So I could go into my activities window. So I'm going to go into plus and then assign activity. This is an all grades. Let's do, um, oh, I like this one, butterfly life cycle. They do drawing and stuff because that shows what Seesaw really does best. So I would just assign this to my class, whatever class it is. Um, I think I made this, this class. I'm going to assign it and kids would go to that class like they always do, click the light bulb for activities. Or if you didn't assign them anything, they're just starting from scratch. You know, this is not a full-blown Seesaw tutorial, but this is about how they can take what they do in Seesaw and share it with you in Canvas. So they're gonna go ahead and do their response. You're gonna be so amazed by my very quick drawing. Here's the butterfly life cycle. And I'm just gonna draw one piece of it. You know what, I have a pen here. Why don't I use it, okay? So here is a butterfly. You can tell I taught big kids for a long time because I do not do whatever. And I draw my caterpillar and my larva and all the stuff that I'm going to say wrong <laughs> if I try to say it. And they could record. They could do whatever they wanted to do with this. And then they push the green check to turn it in. You would approve it because, again, we never want a picture and see saw of a kid picking his nose or flicking someone off or other things I've seen little kids do. And so once you approve the activity, they're going to go to their name, they'll see it here, and they're going to click these three dots to share it. It gives them a link. Now, I know what you're thinking, Susie, these are kindergarten first and second. Y'all, I have done everything I'm showing you on any of this video series with little children, real ones, not fake ones. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. And I will tell you that, yes, you do have to hold their hands, practice through it the first few times. 
But y'all, they are so much more capable than sometimes we uh, give credit. And we're the ones that are fearful that they can't do it. But y'all, they can do this, okay? So they're going to click to share the activity. They're going to get that link. And they're going to turn it into you through a Canvas assignment. So I'll show you that in the next little snip. I said in a previous video that modules are my favorite feature of Canvas. And they are definitely my favorite. But here's another hidden gem that you just really can't live without. Um, if you'll go to your Home tab, it's also in Settings. And look for this little pair of glasses. If you didn't know, there is a student view in Canvas. So if you ever want to try anything, you're like, I don't know how to tell my kids to do this. Well, you can be a student. So when I click student view, it's going to put me in. You see this pink bar all the way around here. And um, I see my module right here. I'm going to click on that seesaw activity. It's making me a test student. And I go here to submit the assignment. Okay. It gives me literally one box I can fill in. Okay, and they can say, this is my assignment. They don't even have to. So they're going to click blue box to start, paste, blue box to finish. Y'all, you can make up a little song. Oh my gosh, they give you a celebration now, y'all. I'm seeing that live and in person. I have never seen a Canvas celebration. I thought that was just a Microsoft Teams thing. So they click blue to start, paste in blue. Blue to start, paste in blue. Okay, that's so tacky. I make up jing jingles and songs for everything I teach little kids to do. They can sing them back to me. Your little kids can do this. So again, if you want the beauty of all those Seesaw fabulous tools, but then you only have to check one place, then Seesaw Plus Canvas is the way to go. And before I forget, let me show you what it looks like now from a teacher perspective. If you have not used the speed grader on any activity, you can come over to the right, click the speed grader, or you can also do that from the grade book. And now right here inside of Canvas, I'm able to check their work. It loads it right here for me. If they had recorded, I would hear the recording right here. I mean, what, what? Um, that same process of sharing, you can grab a link and maybe you want to brag to your administration about something your kids are doing. That share a link that they did in Seesaw, those uh, three dots, excuse me, wrong tab, those three dots that they grabbed right here, you can share that link really anywhere. The people don't even have to log in to Seesaw. So that's the beauty of it. That's why it works in Canvas. Okay, so this is what it looks like on a preview. You see everything in Canvas. Parents see everything in Canvas, but the kids can still use the tools. I think that's mind-blowing. Let me know what you think below. Leave me a comment if it blew your mind. I would love to hear that. Also, always share on Twitter, Facebook, wherever your people are. I really appreciate it. Hey, guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you want to gamify, playlist for that. And all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.